Hey there adventurers! Welcome back and today I cannot wait to show you my most favorite spot in Oahu. So on the very first trip I made to Oahu, on the first day, I was taken to Helena's Hawaiian Foods. Talk about the best first impression you could possibly have. Words cannot describe the rush of joy and excitement I felt being in Oahu for the very first time unknowingly eating what I would eventually consider the most delicious Hawaiian food on the island. Even with all their awards and fame, Helena's has kept the aloha spirit alive. I feel at home when I eat here because everybody is so friendly and treats you like family. I think this also plays a big part of why they have huge lines at the door. This was after lunch rush. We're gonna try some new things along with some old favorites. I'll start with their pipikala style short ribs. This stuff smells so amazing. So pipikala is dried and salted beef, so kind of like beef jerky, and is seen here hanging in their kitchen. When cooked, they are soft, juicy, and packed with flavor. The dish is perfected when paired with a raw sweet Maui onion. You'll regret not ordering the large, so you better get the large of the pipikala. You can also pair the short ribs with the poi, which I like to do because it balances out the saltiness. Poi is fermented taro root paste, which is a staple in Hawaiian cuisine, kind of like their rice. Helena's poi is pretty sour, pretty fermented. It's not my favorite poi, but it tastes really good when you're eating it with the salty dishes, like the pipikala or the kalua pig. Next is the tripe stew. This is the first time you've ordered it, and right away you can smell how delicious it's going to be. You can tell they've been simmering the tripe in the tomato-based stew for a while because the tripe was packed with flavor and was super soft and savory. This dish was so warm and comforting. I loved it. If you're scared of tripe, you really don't know what you're missing out on. Don't knock it till you try it. This one is the poke fish with opihi. If you don't know what poke is, go watch my Ono Seafood video. Opihi, on the other hand, is basically a limpet or a sea snail. Look at that beautiful yellow swirl. I was a little wary at first because of its color and I had no idea what it was. That look in my face is because it squirted in my mouth. <laughs> but it was actually really good. It tasted like as if the ocean was encased in this small chewy snail. This is a delicacy in Hawaii and I'm so glad we were able to try it. Oh, this next one. Don't let its plain look fool you because this is one of my favorite dishes. Chicken long rice, which is basically a Hawaiian chicken noodle soup, has a chicken and ginger broth base with not too much soup but just enough to slurp up the glass noodles. This dish is comfort food. It's super simple but is also a huge crowd pleaser. I made it for my family when they came over my house and they loved it. Finally, haupia for dessert. Hapia is basically a coconut jello pudding and I can eat it by the buckets. Clearly, I was way too excited to eat my hapia because I wasn't able to take a video while I was eating it. But this stuff is really good. Helena's makes it really well. It's not too sweet, which means I can eat even more. I was so tempted to get another order, but I was just way too full with all the other food I got. I really wish I could give you how everything smelled and tasted through this camera but you're gonna have to try it out for yourself in real life. There is no way I can miss going to Helena's on any Oahu trip. It's the first thing on my mind I say we have got to hit it up because really, I try to look for a great Hawaiian place here in the OC and there's really not a restaurant I know of that can serve great Hawaiian food like Helena's. You can get like um, Aloha barbecue or Ono Hawaiian barbecue, but it's not quite the same. <sighs> Well, thank you for joining me on this trip to Helena's. If you have the chance, you have got to try Helena's. If you ever go to Oahu, it's really that good. And the family vibes in the restaurant is incomparable. It's amazing there. Um, so thanks again for stopping by. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And I will see you eat Venturers next week. Bye.